please understand before we get into this, this is not 100% foolproof. You know, there may be some deviations in how the, the information gets decompressed and we are using chat GPT. So take it with a grain of salt, but I think it is a, a really slick prompt engineering method to, to get more out of your, your prompts than you currently are or more into should I say your prompts than you currently are. So let's get into it. So today I wanted to talk about a concept that's been floating around recently about prompt engineering. So we're gonna hurry up and get to it. We have this uh, text that I'll show you and it's, I'll just paste it in here, right? And it's just some text from a podcast I did and it says compress the following text between the text tags in a way such as the new chat GPT. This is for yourself, don't make it human readable. Aggressively compress it while still keeping all the information to fully reconstruct it. Also use the fewest token possible. Your text should be way smaller than the one I give you, right? So then I just pasted this text in here from the podcast. This is actually a transcript that I extracted. So let's run it and see what happens, right? So there you have it. This is everything that it compressed. So what we're gonna try now is So we're just gonna say decompress the following. Right. So we'll copy this. And see what happens. All right, so actually it's pretty good. So let's just do a, a quick one by one comparison, right? Who really doesn't want to be better? I mean, you have to. Uh, you have these organizations, leadership, and these organizations, as they bring on high quality candidates or even inequally candidate, inequality candidates, talk about culture and they want this and they want that and they want somebody who's you know driven. Actually, it's pretty spot on, right? Who really doesn't want to be better? These organizations, leadership, they're big on high quality or inequality candidates. So that's just one of the you know little tricks that you can start using for these large language models. And that's just a quick intro or a quick little demo for prompt compression to save you tokens and time. Thank you.